Okay. Well, look at that. It's a new day. And it's a new me. And I am gonna get stuff done today. <laughs> Hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. Who knows? Um, what is it that I have to do today? I have a to-do list somewhere. Um, yes. Okay, so I need to go to the Skylift. And Badaran wanted me to do that. And that is... Right, that's the thing at the middle. In middle Nanosha. That's those... That's that weird scaffolding that they use to uh, move goods up and down. And then we've got Swift Perch that I need to go to. Which, I that town does not sound familiar. Oh, because it's in an area that I have not been. Alright, well that makes sense. And then, what was this again? Do I need to do this? Journey to Mist. I feel like I should get rid of that. But I also feel like I should save it for when I'm like leveling something else. So, we'll see. <laughs> I'm probably being silly, but it's, if I go by that area, I will I will deal with that. And I will uh, go talk to whoever I need to talk to about that. But right now, it is 8.39, 8.40 in the morning. It's almost 9 a.m. And I should get going. I have some tasks to go out of town. Although I do have one thing that I wanted to do before I left. All right, hey, I wanted to check in before I'm leaving town because I, I might be gone a while. You have anything for me? Uh, he does. He has a new task for me to undertake. I see you have been diligent in your training. You need not tell me in words. It shows in your bearing, in your unwavering gaze. Well, that's what I go for. It is time for you to once more lift your axe in service to the guild. There have been reports of a sizable creature roaming the outskirts of Aleport in, in western Lanosha. This monster is no Kujata, but the threat is present to the locals nonetheless threat it presents to the locals is nonetheless sufficient to warrant our attention, and it should also provoke a prove a worthy foe to test your burgeoning prowess. Okay. How to find this beast? Well, I am fortunate enough to count among my acquaintances a veteran hunter and archer by the name of Renfred. Renfred, I don't know. He took up residence in Aleport some years ago and will gladly aid you in this task. With Rainford's assistance, you are to track down this prowling danger and provide its swift and bloody passage to the afterlife. Mind your axe, but may your axe swing true. He's... My axe master, he is... My master, he is all about the, uh... All about the swift and bloody <laughs> passage to the afterlife. Okay, well, I will do that. Uh, he said outside Aleport, which is another town I haven't heard of. I'm gonna guess it's in Western Lanosha. That seems to be where everything's going. Uh, how do I... Okay, where's the... Eh? I swear, I have stuff. Okay. Alright, that's lower. And that's middle. Okay. So I need to go there. And then Western Lanosha, that's Swift Perch, apparently. Okay. Leaves of Swift Perch. Aleport. Aleport. Ah, here we go. Brutal strength. Alright, yep. It's all in Western Lanosha. So, that's where I need to head. Now, the real question is, am I lazy enough to teleport to Middle Lanosha when I could just walk? Question answer. Um, alright. Where am I? Okay. Right, the Skylift. Skylift is this way. Any fates or anything around here? No. Yeah, Limpsis still looks awesome. I love these fields, I really do. They're very tranquil. I don't have anything that I need to kill around here. Whoop. I'm actually starting to be able to read those signposts, which is kind of cool. I'm learning the script of the locals. I wonder if I get to go to that volcano eventually. I'd say it looks pretty neat, but then again, a volcano is pretty dangerous too, so I don't know. <laughs> Not sure that's a good idea. 
Oh, God. Okay, that's a big Rx. Oh, right. In the... In the crock pot. A.K.A. the cook pot. Yes, I can read a map, I swear. They make such noise here. It's so funny. Loudest freaking animals. I mean, you'd expect it because giant bull thing, but still. The thunderous footsteps of the aurochs. Not even sure they're called aurochs, actually. I'm just calling them that, but giant bull things. Did I? I don't think I checked here. Hello. I said raise the lift. Okay, yeah, they're moving cargo. Oh, I didn't even notice there was a path here. I did kind of notice that the, the dirt path kind of veered off a little bit into like a bump here, but I didn't. it didn't even occur to me. Oh, that's cool. I never noticed this. Hello. Okay, so that's how they get... Um, that's how they get stuff down to be put in the lift which makes sense because how would the state how would the uh wagon go up and down stairs but yep all right now who okay i have to talk to that guy all right work it spoke to you before Badaran sent you out here did he then consider yourself welcome at the skylift thank you Look at that bloody cliff, will you? One, f one blast of fiery hell from that huge dragon was all it took to split the ground in half. Cargo still needs to get through, though, so this mess of wooden pulleys was our solution to the problem. Well, one of them, at least. If the gods were kind, and they ain't, I'd have, I'd have about a dozen more workers to handle me growing list of headaches. Okay, well, I mean, I'm an adventurer. I do specialize in uh, helping people with their headaches. Uh, let me see. That's something that I actually want to get. And it's level 10 versus level... Oh, hmm. Gives me extra... Yes, okay, it gives me these. Gives me extra stats. Alright, I think the, the Kex look cool, but I think... I probably want these pants. Although, uh, hold on. Spirit Bond. Spirit Bond is not shown in this thing. Never mind. I have no idea. Let me just see. Hmm. Uh, but let me see real quick. Am I, like, close to... Am I close to bonding with these? No. Not even remotely. Okay, that's gonna take a long time, so I might as well get new gear. Who cares? Okay, I'll take those pants you were offering. Thank you. Alright. Okay, so Worker's got a quest. Alright, so yeah, so this... Chasm was made by Bahamut, then. Interesting. Oh, another quest over here, too. Did more open up on the map? I don't want to have a situation like I had back here. Where I totally don't have a quest and it just opens up on the map and then I almost miss it. Yeah. Man, that water is pretty. The whole look. I love this look. I really do. Okay. Alright. Um. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Well, alright. Worker, you tell me what you need first and then I'll talk to that other guy. All right, a Skylift operator needs you to recover a cargo load abandoned by a terrified wagon driver and deliver it to its intended recipient. Okay. Terrified of what? Glad I am to see you again, lass. A wagon driver just returned in a great bloody hurry, screaming about some monstrosity what sprang out from a million corn seedling in his cargo. A million corn? From what? Seems the gutless bastard tossed it over the side before turning tail and running for his life. I need you to head down the road, recover that seedling, and deliver it to life to Lyulf over at Swift Perch in Western Lanosha. Whatever he pays you for the cargo is yours to keep. After all, I don't rightly know what else is lurking inside that plant, and you deserve to be rewarded for your troubles. Oh, and you'll find an aetherite you'll also find an aetherite in Swift Perch, so the journey should be worth your while. I was heading there anyway. Well, was heading there. I have a feeling I'm about to not head there um, for a couple of seconds, but yeah, we'll see what you got for me. Um, Kazai. Uh, I, I don't think I ever figured out how to say your name, but Kazai. Alright, Kazai, a transport, a cargo transporter at the Skylift needs a helping hand to keep his fish fresh. Okay. Look sharp, Lassie. I got a job for you. We don't got, we don't got much time, so listen close. 
Today I got me too many fish and not enough water sprite cores to keep them cool. You see me problem? Yes, I do. Now, I can't believe be delivering crates of rotted fish, so I need you to head over yon head over yonder and dance with them dripping sprites till you've collected three of their chili essences. You do realize I don't want you to actually dance with them, right? <laughs> yes, yes, I did get that. Thank you. Although I might dance with them. Who knows? I'm a free spirit. Alright, that was... Yeah, no one else needed anything. Okay, I know exactly where these things are, so let's go kill them real quick. Okay. Alright. And let me just put on defiance. And there we go. Shouldn't be much of a challenge. All they're really doing is getting me a little, a little soggy. You guys don't, I don't need anything from those guys. I don't know why I keep, well, I know why I keep looking at them. They're giant crabs and they're terrifying. I only needed three. Nice. That was it, really? Deliver the water spike cord? Yeah? Okay. Only three. That's fine. Okay. You're back already. Don't keep me waiting now. Let's see those cores. I didn't keep you waiting. That was very quick. Alright, these concentrated cores of suspended water can help maintain the freshness of recently caught fish. Okay, so exactly what he needs. Got it. Aye, lassie. Well done. You did- you done well. Can't wait to get these beauties into me fish crates. That ought to keep the catch fresh and me, cu and me customers happy. There's a whole mess of delivery companies what make use of the Skylift. You, sl you slip up one time and some bastard's liable to steal your business. Eh. Oh, he's got another one. No one else does. Okay, so, um, you slipped up again, then? I can just check the mini-map for quests. Okay. You slipped up again, then, or what? Okay. Uh, alright, he wants me to slay buzzards that have been attacking wagons on the road now. Okay. You've shown yourself to be a useful lass. What say you do me another favor? We've been having a wee problem with buzzards swooping down and snatching cargo from the wagons while what are traveling the road to the Denevil checkpoint. Most days, them feathered hellions stay well enough away, but it seems they can't resist... They can't resist a wagon's what... A wagon what's loaded with meat. Well, I say we make use of that weakness and lure, to lure the greedy buggers into a trap. Take this here sack of rotten meat... A rotting rat meat? Ugh. And set it down in vulture territory. That be where the buzzards make their nests. When the bastards show up for the feast, you start breaking beaks with a vengeance. Easy. <laughs> Start breaking beaks with the vengeance. I'm just gonna go break beaks. It's fine. You don't have anything new to say. No, you don't. Okay. All right. And where exactly? Okay. Two different. Oh no, wait. One different spot. All right. The other one is the weird thing about a monster coming out of a seedling of corn. I don't understand that, but I have a feeling I'm not gonna like it. <laughs> All right, over here. Where are you? I see bees. Ah, okay, right here. We will do this first. All right. Uh, it's what buzzards crave: <laughs> rotting rat meat. Good to know. Hello. Alright. You're gonna have to try harder to hit me with that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't laugh, but that screech when they die. <laughs> like... 
Probably says a lot about me that I laugh at that, but yeah. I think I'll keep the mini map on for now. Okay. Now hopefully this is like the last thing he needs me to do. Actually, with my luck, the next thing he's going to need me to do is like send me back to town or something. Didn't get your eyes pecked out, did you? Them buzzards, uh, them buzzards be a nasty lot. But the last wagon made it through with nary a morsel lost, so I'd say you've plucked enough of their thieving hides to secure the route. Well, that's good. You have me thanks, lass. I make most of me coin haul and foodstuffs, and I'd be bedding down in the gutter within the week if it weren't for your help. Seems even the scavengers are finding the pickings scarce since the calamity hit. Otherwise, you'd never see them trying to try and aught so bold. Fortune didn't favor them with sp worth spit this time, though, eh? No, it did not. Fortune favored me. Or you, really. Although I did get paid, so I guess fortune favored me, too. Alright. So, it looks like everybody is clear. And I don't have anything else to do here. Just another day in the life of an adventurer. Have fun, guys. I would wave, but I want to get away before you think of another task for me, so I'm just going to go. And I've been up there. There's nothing over there. So now it's just... What was it? Right. Million Cord Zulu. Got it. Yeah, those bees are... It's still not okay how big those... How big those bees are. Still not okay. The bugs here are huge. Ah, I see it. No. Actually, well, I think I see this might be the thing that I'm dealing with, but... It looks like we have a fate going on? Yes. We have an event. Am I overdone for it? No. No, I'm not. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's help these guards. Well, yellow jackets? No, maelstrom guys. These are maelstrom. I'm a tank. Hit me. Of course, he's a tank too, so... You can take turns. Switch the single target for you. And also for you, hello. Uh, excuse me? Storm Private? Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright, everybody get together. Everybody bunch up. I'm just gonna keep not dying, and you guys are gonna hit them with AoEs. Okay. What was that about not dying? Yes. Potion. I have a potion. I have that. I don't have it on my health bar, because I'm an idiot, but I have that. Nope. That was not where I meant to put it. <laughs> Just run around. <laughs> In circles. Don't, don't, don't mind me. It's fine. Alright. I think single target hits harder, so let's do that. I think I'm just gonna be over here and staying away from most of them for the moment. Like, I help the guys, but they do need to earn their own keep. Okay. Let me just move this over here and get rid of this because I don't have any high potions anymore. So there we go. Oh god. Okay. Um. Yeah, they can, they can handle that for the moment. We just need to take out a couple of these jackals. Alright, a young porter thought it would be clever to fool his companions into believing that they were being stalked by a pack of jackals, so while the others were off hunting beasts, he could slip off and frolic with a local milkmaid. The only problem being, jackals truly were stalking him, and now he's in a pickle. <laughs> Where is this idiot?
Okay, I'm probably not gonna die. Probably. Got another. Okay. Yay! Okay. Why did I think I heard a big thud just now? Oh, hello. Alright, nope. Okay, uh, Middle Manoshi is a buzz with following the sights. Whoop, God. Of the Chupacabra? A dog-like dog creature rumored to drink the blood of virgins. Is the beast real or just a legend? And is it after that guy? <laughs> I think we all know the answer to that last one. Okay, I'm... God. Okay. They're gonna need me to get these guys' attention, isn't aren't they? Yep. I'm not going to do an AoE, though, because I will grab the Chupacabra, and I would rather not. Come on. This feels very hectic right now. <laughs> Alright. Must keep the Maelstrom guys alive and then I can attack the thing. Although I think it's attacking me anyway. Yep. I have aggro on it anyway. I don't know how that happened, but whatever. Oop, God. Okay. We're good. We're fine. Did that work? It did. Okay, good. Ah, good. We have some help. Do I have any other abilities that I'm... No. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, he's almost done. It's fine. There we go. <laughs> They're gonna tell the Admiral that I was successful. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Or that I was helpful, I guess. I wanted to thank you. Wait! I wanted to bow or something. Never mind. Okay. See ya. Bye. Alright. Anything around here? Uh, no. But, no quests anyway. But let's see here. The Storm Private, I can talk to them, I guess. I don't think I've actually been up here, so let me talk to you. Follow the road through the checkpoint and it'll take you to Wineport. Aye, the place is famous for its wines, but it's not all you'll find up there. The Garleans have built a military base close by, so be on your guard. The De the De the Denevel checkpoint uh, serves as one of our last lines of defense should the Imperial forces attempt an invasion. Okay. Denevel, maybe? I'm probably saying that wrong. It sounds elven. Well, Elizen, whatever. Cool though. Can I go up this ladder? No? No, I didn't think so. Alright. It's very neat. It's a very neat checkpoint with its bridge that I can't jump over. Alright. Cool. Nothing back there. Alright. Oh, look at that sunset. So nice. Although that does mean I'm going to be heading to Swift Perch at night, which will be fun. Always good to run into new places at night from the direction that jackals came. <laughs> Can't go badly at all. Not that I'm worried. I have my axe. I'm fine. Okay, speaking of jackals. I don't technically need the combat AI or UI to be on to be able to fight. Okay. Just die. Thank you. Alright. Probably gonna have to deal with a couple more of you in a minute. Million corn seedling. Whoa. 
What the? Ew. Okay, the slugs are annoyingly large in here too. No one told me about the large bugs or the large slugs. There we go. Was that it? That's what he ran terrified from? I mean, they're gross, but they didn't seem like they could do much damage to you. Okay, well, whatever. Go see a guy in the airport about some slugs. Got it. Stop by Swift Perch, though, first. Already known for its size in the 6th Astral Era, the overgrown land trap Baramets was grown e has grown even larger since the Calamity, feeding on weakened... Oh god, that's it right there in it. Yeah, it is. Okay. Feeding on weakened uh, dodos and owl goats until reaching its current size of almost two score hands. Slice it down to size, or you may be its next victim. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Hi. Alright, well, let's take you on. I can do this. Just one guy. Probably. There's a grizzling right behind it, but it's passive, so it shouldn't, it shouldn't attack me. I think. Oh. Okay, well, I couldn't do it in 10 seconds, but at least I got some XP. <laughs> Oops. I took too long to read. Hello. Okay. Uh... Wow. What is that? That that looks like it needs repairing, but it also looks cool. Sorry, couldn't resist. All right, and aetherite. Okay, gotta be swift perch. This area isn't too dangerous. Just some jackals out there, but the roselings don't seem to be attacking. Hello. Not much to see around here except the aetherite. Don't know why they bothered to put it in a ha put one in a half dead hamlet like Swift Birch. Uh, for convenience, I assume. Uh, all right, check up the border. Thank you. Part of my network now. Where is? Well, let me go to the first thing you should always do: new settlements, aetherite. All right, there's the lead mate, but that's not who I need to talk to. Wait, is it who I need to talk? Yeah, no, leaves the swift perch. Probably need to talk to you. Greetings, lass. My name's Swigskiff, and I'm in charge of assigning local leave quests to. Lo yeah, local leave quests here at Swift Perch. Tamakri sent you to me, did you? Did, yeah, sent you my way, did she? Well, then, let's get you started. Right after we see if you've got the brass to come overcome the challenges you're likely to encounter around these parts. Hey. Take a look at the t over the task outlined in this guild leaf. You reckon you can handle it? I mean, probably. Okay, accepting guild leaves. Uh, speak with the local dis speak with the local distributor of guild leaves known as a leave mate. Bring up a list of available leave quests. Highlight one. Accept it. Uh, leave allowances. Okay, down here. Leave allowances are required to accept leave quests. You will be granted three leave allowances every twelve hours, up to a maximum of a hundred. Let me accept 16 leave quests at one time. Okay. Grabbing crabs. Megalo crabs are eating all the fish in my hole. <laughs> Damn it. And Wabalago has the nerve to chide me over not meeting my daily quota. Wabalago is annoying that way. Well, I'll show him. I'll use that money, the money he hides behind the giant stuffed Ugrom salmon, giant stuffed Ugrom salmon hide, hanging in his office. He has an office. To hire an adventurer to slay all the crabs for me. Whoever me whoever accepts this task must be forewarned. The megalo crabs will run for help when injured. Be prepared. Be probably prepared to make chase. Okay, report to Western Lanosha. That's from... From Wawalaga's Puller's Shoal Skimmer, Blomerl. So, some Rogan and Lady in the Fisher's Guild. 
or guy in the fish. I'm not sure. I think that that sounds female to me, but yeah. Okay. Um, oof, I didn't do that right. <laughs> Apparently I can't accept it. All right, here we go. Okay, I can accept it. So good to hear. Now Megla crabs, they like to run off to their mates when they're feeling overmatched. If you don't want to find yourself armpits deep in snippers, then you'd best finish them quickly. Uh, open your journal. Select the duty and initiate it. When a Megla crab feels overmatched, it'll run. It'll get buddies. Yes, I, I have gotten that idea. Okay. All right. So I'll be helping out the Fisher's Guild. Well, a member of the Fisher's Guild, anyway. With this too, which is kind of cool. Initiating leave quests. So you open the journal via the duty section of the main menu. Or just press the right key for that. Um, you select the leave quest. And then you hit initiate, I'm guessing. Uh, oh, I can click the map button to see where the leave quest actually is, which in this case is right outside of Swift Birch. Makes sense. Uh, okay, so though you can initiate leave quest at any time, while in the corresponding area, it is recommended you wait until you are close. Yeah. Uh, once you have arrived, open the journal, select the leave quest, click on the initiate button to begin your duty. Okay, cool. Alright, well I will try that out in a second, but let's go talk to this guy about his wagon. I'm Actually, hello. Frey, fry loaf, fry loaf, fry loaf, something like that. Uh, it used to be that these lands were covered in a blanket of wheat, and a small settlement flourished a short walk from the north of here, uh, to the north of here. The ravages of the calamity put an end to that, as you can see. Yeah, there wasn't anything to the north here. Aye, they did their best to rebuild, riding the momentum of the initiative to restore the Aetherite camps, but it's as if the very life has been leached from the ground. Few can seem to muster the enthusiasm needed to bring vitality to this bar back to this barren soil. Hmm. It does look pretty... The grass does look pretty patchy compared to the areas of Lenosia I was in. Alright, let me talk to this guy and then I'll talk to the rest of the villagers. So... Alright. Layof. Lay... Lyof? Um, hi. Heard you had something to do with seedlings? Has Namiya herself forsaken this desolate land? Though I understood there were risks in gambling my entire fortune on a crop of million corn, I at least accepted, expected the seedling to be delivered before disaster struck. Okay, so he's trying to grow food in barren soil and revitalize the area. Okay. Alright, well, you're in luck. I have your seedling. The slugs did apparently not get it. Alright, this strain of million corn has been bred over generations to grow in even the rockiest of soils. Here you go. Is is that my million corn seedling? Oh, joyous day! It may seem a paltry beginning, but the yield of this particular particular variety of crop plant is nothing short of astonishing. As you have undoubtedly noticed, Swift Perch lacks a certain, shall we say, vital energy. Thus, I mean to restore a modicum of hope to its resonance by growing a veritable ocean of corn. You, madam, seem fit to burst with vim and vigor. Might I persuade you to, to abide a while and help nurture this se this ailing settlement? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, I got nothing else to do. <laughs> that is my, I mean, yes, that is my duty as a, as a heroic adventurer. I will surely do that. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Oh. I didn't actually put on the other thing, did I? Yeah. Okay, I have new gear. I'm all red now. Okay, um... Alright, so he's the new... He's the new MSQ. Okay, uh, well, alright. First, what's your task, Lyle? Alright, Lyle, a farmer at... A uh, farmer at the Swift Perch Settlement, needs your assistance with another part of his restoration scheme. All these wild dodos you see in the place, you see in the about the place, were actually once domesticated birds bred by my father. Huh. They broke lo loose during the during the chaos of the calamity, and gradually became the feral, ill-tempered creatures we now do our best to avoid. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh at that. But if I am to restore Swift Perch to the very same settlement it was when my father was alive, then I must also try my hand at dodo raising. And as you likely ha have likely surmised, I shall require your adventurer's resourcefulness in this endeavor. You need me to catch some dodos for you, don't you? 
For the initial stage of my dodo rearing enterprise, I need you to head into the flock and seek seek out dodo nests. You'll be looking for fertilized eggs. Three of them should do nicely for now. Oh, okay, so you want me to steal their babies. That'll that'll go over even better. But pray be careful when liberating the eggs. The adult dodos will not take kindly to an intruder making off with their offspring. No kidding. What else do you have to say? Aside from the aetherite, there is precious little else of interest in swift perch. You are, however, welcome to stay as long as you like. Well, thanks. Oh, okay, you can tell me about the settlement. Awesome. What do you do here? Up until the calamity recently re reduced this place to a smoking ruin, I aided my father in raising crops of wheat. Now my dear old dad is gone, our once bountiful fields are untilled and overgrown, and our dodo livestock has learned a taste for has learned a taste for unfettered freedom. But I will not let this tragedy defeat me. I have sworn to restore my father's beloved settlement to the way it was when he yet lived, single-handedly if I must. Well, I know how that feels. I'm definitely- I, I really- I will help you out with everything that I can around here. Want to help revitalize this place too. It's a good dream. Alright, so tell me about this place. This settlement was constructed here as part of the efforts to rebuild the destroyed Aetherite camps after- well, after that horrible incident. It was originally found further to the northwest, but when we returned from Limsa Lominsa, we were taking shelter there after the fiery destruction and such, you see. There was not much left for our, of our fields and homes. The scene that greeted us was enough to wilt our very spirits. Folk were left with barely enough enthusiasm to shuffle f about in a fugue-like depression, let alone lift a hoe or mend a fence. But I have plans to expel this air of defeat with the fresh breath of hope. The fresh breath, a fresh breath, you know. All right, well, I will definitely help you out as much as I can. Eh, looks like he's doing pretty good with the seedlings so far. Seedling count, anyway. I don't know. It's enough for an entire village, but he's probably got more on the way or something. Hmm. Is there something back here? Oh, yes, there is. Okay, yeah, he's doing pretty good with uh, with growing stuff so far. Nice. Hello. Any day, uh, another day older and deeper in debt. Wow. Okay, depressing. Where? Oh. Yeah, okay, that stuff, I don't know. Oh, uh, do not step on the crops. Do not step on the crops. Okay. Um, I don't know, like, it's... It's like giant crystals grew out of the thing, or someone, like, spit lava into it, or and it froze. I mean, I don't know what that is. It looks cool, but not intentional, so probably not good, but it looks cool. Hello. To be back at sea, what I wouldn't give. Okay. Well, come on. Land isn't that bad. You'll get used to it. Alright, uh, let's talk to the other people here first. Just to see what else I can do around town. Riemann. Forgive my candor, but I mislike strangers. Have patience, though. The day may come when we can do business. Uh, okay. Well, at least he was open about it. Kimala Kip I, I have no idea how to say that. Kimalasi? Kimalasi. Kimalosi. I was born and raised to the west of here. You won't find the village on recent maps, though. The Sahagan moved en removed any need to mark it. Oh, that sucks. I've heard about the Sahagan. I don't think I've seen any yet, but... Feiwan Bullion? Okay. I realize I'm a tiny fish amid a sea of sharks, but I think there are enough shrewd traders in this cutthroat market for an honest peddler to carve out a decent niche. Okay, you're a peddler. Not selling me anything at the moment, but alright. Uh, do I need to have anything repaired while I'm here? Not particularly, but why not? I'll toss some, toss some coin in these people's way. I am better off than this area probably is. Can I get in here? I think I can. Yes. No one to talk to in here, really. Um, a damn hard place, this quarterstone. Damn hard. Quarterstone? What? Isn't this called Swift Perch? It is. Oh, wait. Oh! The area is called Quarterstone. Probably the name of that village he mentioned that isn't around anymore. Alright. 
you have anything to say? No? No. Okay. Alright, you're still waiting on me to finish the leave, but let's talk to you. Alright, Freyloaf. Freyloaf, a yellow jacket on guard duty in Swiftbridge, wants you to visit Brewer's Beacon and investigate the reason behind the waning light. You there, adventurer. Cast your eyes towards the Brewer's Beacon. Does the light not seem uncommonly weak? It cannot possibly be bright enough to guide the ship sailing in the bay. I don't know, the lighthouse seemed pretty bright to me. I would march over to the lighthouse and investigate myself, but I am duty-bound to remain at my post. I would consider it a favor if you could make a visit to the Brewer's Beacon and see if aught has befallen Conswiss, the lighthouse keeper. Okay, yeah, I can do that. It's kind of an evil smirk, I'm just saying. Um, but I'm just... Let me see here. I mean, it seems pretty lit to me, right? Well, okay, I guess it is a little weak. I mean, I'm not really a mariner, and I have no far... I have no idea how far out they need to... They need to have this light showing. A little weak, maybe. But, yeah, okay, I'll check on it. Alright. First things first, though, let's take care of that leave that's, like, right here. Let's get those... What was I doing? Getting... We're killing something. Killing something that's messing... Killing megalocrabs. That's what it was. Alright. Okay, I am in the right spot, right? Yes. Okay, initiate. Your home point is not set to an aetherite right in this area. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, leave quest difficulty. When you initiate a leave quest, you will be given the opportunity to adjust its difficulty. The greater the difficulty setting, the higher the level target enemies will be. Difficulty also affects completion rewards. Leave quest difficulty can be lowered at any time during the course of the duty by selecting the quest name in the duty list. And selecting difficulty. Alright, so once you've done it. Uh, please note that it cannot be raised once the duty has been initiated. Okay, um, this defaulted to plus four. What level is this? It's level 10, yeah, which just means it's gonna be level 14. So yeah, I'm level 17. I'm fine. Okay. Didn't read, but that's it. Okay. <laughs> Let's be a little prepared. Well, god. Okay. Turn on defiance. Alright, there we go. Once you have initiated a lead quest, the location of your quest objectives will be displayed on the mini-map. Alright, got it. <laughs> uh, no, I do not want to be teleported. Thank you. Alright, when all the leave mate... Okay, treasure chest went away, but whatever. All right, when all the leave mate quest objectives, leave quest objectives have been completed, you will be given the option to. Yes, okay, fine. Given the option to teleport. Don't need to. It's literally like five feet away. Hello. You seem to have had little trouble. A little. You seem to have had little trouble there. Last, here's a reward for your efforts. Alright, bonus has been given based on difficulty, speed of completion, okay, awesome, and I get pants. They're not pants I think I want to use. Yeah, don't need those, but thank you. I reckon we'll do just fine with the rest of the jobs. And there's always plenty to do here at Swift Perch, what with all the rebuilding and such. Be sure to make yourself useful. Okay. Alright, what am I- what am I now? Level 19? Oh, city-state leaves unlocked. That sounds official. No, 18. Okay. Oh, didn't actually- yeah. Okay, so he's got another quest? Alright, simply the he simply the hest. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I guess I'll do this. Alright, Swixkiff believes you are ready to join a guild hest. By the by, a sturdy venturer like yourself might want to look into guild hess. Okay? Have a word with the battle warden with battle warden to Roro, and she'll give you the details. Don't you fret now, lass. I'll send her straight uh, I'll set her straight if she has any doubts about your ability. Wow, I really impressed him by killing the that one crab. <laughs> but okay. Alright, battle warden. Hello. 
Word travels quickly in Swift Birch. Here to learn about guild hests, are we? What's a guild hest? Why, it's to be he it's a behest issued by the Adventurer's Guild. Savvy? Okay, yeah, I get it. Guild hest. Got it. When a certain task brought to the attention of the guild is a little too grand for a leave, but not grand enough for grand company involvement, they're deemed guild hests and sent to yours truly. But don't let the lack of grandeur fool you. The tasks are anything but simple. Most, most take place in tight quarters, and all require precision, and all require precision teamwork twixt you and your battle mates. And so, what do you get in return for placing your neck on the Loppin block? Besides a beam and grin from the battle from battle warden to Roro Tiro, uh, <laughs> okay, fame, fortune, and the the usual. So you get fame, fortune, and the usual. So I presume you'll be joining in our next operation. Um, sure, I guess. Yeah, give me potions, please. The duty finder has been updated. Okay, duty finder has been unlocked. By unlocking, guild husks are now available. Okay, anything else? No? Okay. Uh, by unlocking the duty finder, you can now undertake multiplayer duties without having to form a party on your own. Press the U key to uh, select or select the duty finder from that menu to be able to use it. Okay. Cool. Using the duty finder, you select the duty. Alright, padlock, uh, padlock icon indicates the duty cannot be accessed until you have achieved certain requirements, such as level or quest completion. We don't have that listed here. Uh, once you've registered, you can view the duty's particulars, including party and server status, by selecting duty finder from the duty list. And then when your party has been formed, you'll end up going into the duty, right? Yes. Commence. Uh, good practice to work out a battle plan with your party before rushing headlong into an instance. Um, yeah, work it out beforehand. Right. Um, guild hests. Alright, guild hests are special operations. Organized by the Adventurer's Guild, overseen by battle wardens, speak with a blah 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 blah. Okay, please note, however, that each operation has conditions, such as class or level, that must be met. At first, you may find that only a limited number of guild hests are accessible, but do not worry, as you progress in level, the number will grow. Guild hests can also be accessed via the duty finder. Alright, well, what's the first one? This battle exercise tests your ability to manage multiple parties of enemies. Uh, learn to draw strength single targets from groups using ranged attacks and engage them in locations far out of the lines of sight of other creatures. Okay, well, let's see what the, um, let's see what the timing is on this. Let's see here. Oh, immediate. Okay, well, cool. I'll do it then. Why not? Okay, um, I've got stuff to read. Okay. <laughs> We're supposed to kill things. Defeat one enemy group at a time. Got it. Okay. I will read the tooltip in a second. This is not the best time to have that pop up. Okay. Pop in here, I believe. Come on. If the Gubu spots you, he will order all remaining targets to attack. Stay out of his line of sight. Okay, well, I didn't do that. this right. Oh well. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. It's okay. We're good. Woohoo! Alright. Player commendations. Let's give... Okay. 
or I could get kicked out of it? No. Okay. Let's give accommodations to that healer because, well, yeah, the healer because I was kept alive. So, usually a good job, a good shout. Right, let's tell them thank you. Okay. All right. Let's just. Well, are the are the tooltips going to go away if I leave? I, I don't think so. All right. Uh, ha ha ha, a fine display for a first timer. Here's your well-earned coin. I've tossed in a little something extra to sweeten the deal so, that's you, so that you might consider coming back. A bonus has been added to your reward for completing the test. All right, we got through without anyone KOing, which is good. Oh, I got some player commendations. Awesome. I don't know why they gave me comms when I, you know, totally messed that up, but oh well. I totally flubbed it, but it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Alright, what are these tooltips here? Alright, we've got guild has rewards. Successfully completing all objectives. Basically get your rewards, right? Okay. Um, player commendation is a system where you can commend a party member who left a positive impression on you in the course of duty. It's also just plain polite to do that. Uh, upon the conclusion of a duty, the player accommodation button will appear in the bottom right of the screen. Selecting it will, sp uh, will bring up an interface that lets you choose who to com. Accommodations can be accumulated over time and earn you a pop hat, apparently. Um, so that's cool. While participating in guild house, you may notice certain areas are colored differently. Yeah, you wander into them. We already did this in the MSQ, guys. Okay, uh, once you have commenced a guild house, the operations, objectives, and the time remaining will be appearing in the duty list. Yes. Okay, hints will also be there uh, if you're unable to complete the objectives in the allotted time. Yeah. That would not work out very well. Alright, limit breaks. Limit breaks is actually useful information. Although, it'd be easier if I was actually in a party to see that. But, I think it, um, I think my limit breaks appear here the LB bars, which yeah, and this is the LB button, which I will never use as a tank but <laughs> just, well actually that's not true, um, eventually I might um, depending on if I'm main tank in a certain fight, but yeah, very specifically it's very specific whether you use it or not as a tank, but DPS gets to use it a lot, so good for them and healers get to use it a lot, but it's not so good that they're using it, so yeah, um, limit breaks are powerful actions which are only available to parties of four or more members. The actions can be executed when the limits when the party's limit gauge is full. The gauge is located directly above the party list. The limit gauge will slowly fill as the battle progresses, and while certain acts of heroism, such as curing an ally while they are on the brink of death or preventing an enemy from using its special attack, will cause the gauge to rise quicker. So basically interrupt and I guess hold off on healing until it's like bottom twenty five percent or something, which seems like that's asking for trouble, but okay. Alright, the limit break trigger is located in the actions and traits menu under general, blah 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 blah. There are five different types of limit breaks. Single target, melee, look, um, attack to all targets in a straight line, which is ranged, area of effect, which is magic, casters, um, then increase party defense, which is the tank one, and, histor and HP restoration, which is healer. Which type is used depending on, depends on the class slash job of the person who initiates the action. Limit gauge length varies depending on party size and battle type. The more party members you have, and the more difficult the foe you face, the more options you will have. Oh, limit gauge length, so yeah, they mean whether you can do LB1, LB2, or LB3, which are all different, um, all have different effects. Okay, joining a party. Alright, I formed a party. Yes. Uh, party chat mode I used already. Okay, while in a party, you can see your list of whoever they are. Mm. Is there anything else there? This is especially helpful when there are many objects on the screen, etc. Yes, that's true. Okay, your party will sometimes be awarded boosts to various attributes based on class or job combinations. Oh. If your party is receiving one of these bonuses, it will be indicated by a party bonus icon above your party list. Bonus is nullified if you leave the party for another area. 
All right, remember your party members are all in-game embodiment of real living people, etc. Yes. Don't be mean. Got it. Well, don't be mean to be mean to the NPCs, but don't be mean to the don't be mean to the players. Okay. Um, did you actually need me to talk to you about anything? I'm I'm really not. I that was fun and everything, and thank you, but um, I really have to go see a man about a lighthouse now. So, if you'll excuse me.